So, you know, our adolescents, they don't sleep well. Their uh, sleeping clock starts a little bit later, and they need to wake up early. I don't think many of them exercise in the gym on a daily basis. Usually they have one gym class at high school a week. And they often don't eat the most healthy food, right? I mean, uh, there's a lot of junk food going on there. And I think all these players do activate auto the immune system, which then induce some brain changes that can manifest as depression. Because when we are sick, none of us want to have any fun. I mean, we kind of look semi-depressed, and I think that's where the field has been really going into exploring the role of immune system in depression. You know, there is a lot of stories about gluten-free diet. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't, I'm not an expert of that. But what we eat is critical to our overall health. And there is importance between our diet, our sleep, uh, our exercise level, and our brain function. It affects the body, it affects the brain, it affects the chemicals that can cross the, the into the brain and then induce damage or non-damage or protect the brain. And what we think is happening now is that it's not only a chemical, one chemical problem with depression, but rather this imbalance between good chemicals and bad chemicals. Uh, that the more, the imbalance can induce deficits in specific brain circuits that can manifest as depression.